Hello everyone, Agent Bravo 7 is here and welcome uh, back to Medford, Oregon. Uh, this is the place where we, for the lack of the better term, barged in, uh, in this brand new series uh, SR22 uh, with the Integra Avionics. Uh, the thing we tried out uh, on our last general elevation flight. If you don't remember it, thanks God. If you do, I'm sorry. So, let's actually try to do things as they should be done. And uh, at least I tried to a little make up for the lack of familiarity with this uh, quite quirky and fragmented system. So, today hopefully things won't be as uh, miserable as, as, they, as they were before. Alright, uh, let's move all the stuff in the keto tie down and chokes uh let's see get yeah we got parking brake set Here we go. Serious, serious, serious. <laughs> yeah, Muse. Hey, welcome aboard. Yep, we are back with the Cirrus. So I finally figured out and set up some a few additional things with the uh, the 650s. And guys, um, whoever gonna be trying out this thing, read the manual. Especially if you're going to be trying out the DFC 90 autopilot, because this thing is quirky. This thing is... Uh, I don't remember anything uh, uh, anything that remotely was operated like this thing. So yeah, definitely give it a few minutes, uh, study and yeah. Alright, uh, that been said, let's get to the... Let's get to the planning and see what we're gonna be doing today. Like I said, we are back to uh, Rogue Valley International Airport at Medford. The weather, as you can see, is a little bit windy, but generally VFR all the way. And we are going from uh, Medford to Eugene. Eugene, Oregon, another fairly uh, sizable airport, another class Delta, and uh, also staffed on pilotage. Uh, my overall plan with uh, this series... Uh, and the yes, news, I've switched to Volanta and... Uh, to Volanta and... Uh, uh, right now, by almost every by almost every mark, I'm liking it much better. Uh, okay. What is going on here? Why are you bitching about the? Oh well. Yes, I've switched to um. Uh, I switched to Volanda because, uh, honestly, the performance of uh, STKP and uh, some issues with it are basically almost uh, intolerable. Volanda is uh, at least uh, developing and it's at least, uh, it at least uh, has a reasonable performance. And uh, let's be real, no one, no one reads the overlay anyway. And they promised to add uh, the overlay in uh, Volanta uh, eventually, so I guess it uh, will happen. Okay, what is going on here? Nope. Let's create the binder. From maps. Here's the airport. Party plate is Jackson 1. I will explain why in a minute. Okay, we get our binder. 
And let's get to the actual plan. So, uh, we are going from uh, Medford to Eugene. My overall plan with this series is uh, actually make it all the way to British Columbia. Uh, kind of a... Uh, kind of a homage to the people who um, are helping me out uh, with the move and uh, who is um, uh, who is basically the uh, author of the idea of uh, November 34262 uh, you, you may want to check her out uh, at Starflies on Twitch she is a great friend of the channel and of mine personally. Uh, she's a flight instructor in uh, both the U.S. in both the U.S. and uh, Canada. Uh, a very big enthusiast of ultralight aircraft, of um, uh, bush flying, of uh, utility aircraft. So check her out. Uh, you will. And uh, she's the she's uh, the best person to go to if you want to learn about the weather so definitely check her out right anyway our plan today is uh, to depart from uh, Medford departures from Medford are actually a little bit uh, a little bit on an interesting side because both uh, the most reasonable departures being Brood 7 and Nats 7 they have this uh, kind of annoying thing almost every modern aircraft has EME, ADF not so much we don't so yeah something that was uh, basically an absolutely necessary thing maybe 20 years ago is not anymore and uh, therefore we can't fly those uh, very nice and useful departures so we are stuck with uh, something like Eagle 6 which is literally just a vector departure or Jackson 1 which is a little bit more involved and uh, includes uh, some uh, climbing in a holy pattern at Rogue Valley VR So after we will climb at Rock Valley to hold on to minimum in route altitude for our route of flight, which is going to be 7,000. See, here it is. Uh, here is Rock Valley, and it's 7,000. After climbing to 7,000, in the hold. Uh, uh, over Rogue Valley, we will uh, get to one four thousand, and uh, well, uh, we will continue en route, and uh, we'll climb to one four. Oh my god! Yes, and we'll climb to one four thousand. We will also try to utilize the oxygen system on this thing. See how it goes. The overall flight time is calculated to be about 48 minutes and after that I want to shoot uh, ILS for runway 16 right. 16 are expected to be in use uh, since the wind is mostly from the south and it also has a, a procedure well it also has a feeder from uh, Eugene VR. Let's open the plate real quick real quick Yeah, so from Eugene VR with a procedure turn, uh, we got uh, a video leg into the ILS uh, for okay runway 16 right. Hey, uh, Melvin Leroy, welcome aboard. Uh, another great friend of the channel and another bush flying advocate. Check out Melvin Leroy. Also, does uh, quite a bit of uh, classic aircraft flying, so uh, including classic airliners like L uh, 1011. The tree star. So yeah, check him out. Uh, we are today go uh, going again with uh, the series with Integra, and we are flying from uh, Medford to Eugene, Oregon. 
Right, let's get back to... So this is the data that we got. Let's go to the actual flight information. Our alternate today is going to be as a McNair Field at Salem, Oregon. Uh, not so far away and basically just there for in case we in case there's some kind of uh, crazy occasion on the runway like uh, well uh, something that will completely prevent us from landing and here's another uh, great person and um, one of the biggest names in the community 757 spy hi Dave welcome board uh, check out 757 spy 750 spy uh, 757 spy as well is recently much into flying the DC-6 uh, by PMDG, one of the most interesting aircraft uh, for flight simulators existing, and uh, does uh, absolutely a great job doing that. So check him out. And generally, a really great person, really great friend, and uh, one of the most interesting people I know. Like, it's it's not flattery; it's uh, just an honest truth. So, okay, again, we will be cruising at 1 for 1000. <coughs> Plan to have uh, two people on board. As a matter of fact, uh, okay, uh, we the total fuel for flight is 14 gallons, and uh, block fuel with everything required is 41 gallons, so we will refuel a little bit. No GPS outages, uh, which is expected. Uh, screw speed is going to be something between uh, 170 and 195, give or take. And I actually don't really agree with the navlog and with the briefing, especially when it comes to vertical profile. As you can see, it's, it indicates uh, that we will be see OED. It thinks that at uh, Oscar Record Delta we will be at f about uh, 5000. Uh, in fact we will be climbing all the way and holding pattern to, to 17000. And uh, sorry to 7000 and uh, there we will be climbing further. Also it's the best place for the winds in our case. No turbulence expected. Winds are mostly uh, mostly tailwinds, up to 25 knots, give or take. No sigmets, no airmets, nothing of this kind. For the departure time, uh, some gusting winds, uh, 17 knots gusting to 24. Uh, shouldn't be anything dangerous. And uh, expected weather at the destination is uh, VFR, winds to 70 at 5 knots, changing to 22. Most likely here is going to be uh, 16th uh, in use uh, for the future, uh, well, for the future convenience, so this is what I'm expecting. And yeah, Melvin <laughs> Leroy with all the with all the em Dave's emotes. Oh my goodness, hot tub. No comments. <laughs> At alternate, uh, it's gonna be... what is it called? It's gonna be VFR as well. The one in route airport with meter is in Rosbo Rosberg. Expected to be almost only VFR as well. Hey, uh, Ryan83B, welcome board. Good evening to you as well. And, uh, yeah, there are a few convective segments. Let's see if they uh, affect us to any capacity. Nope. There's one turbulent segment up to 10,000, but we are gonna be east of it. So. Will not be an issue. <laughs> Ryan, uh, thank you. And really nice to see, uh, see you as well. 
Okay, let's get back to the... To the flights page. Here's Notums, uh, and people, I'm gonna grab my coffee real quick, because it should be ready. And we will proceed with the briefing, because uh, after the workday, my, uh, my, my throat is really dry. Alright guys, be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, now, Dave, uh, today we are going with uh, coffee, uh, partially because the weather in Moscow is finally is finally reasonable and uh, way closer to the normal air conditioning, uh, uh, normal air conditioned uh, 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 cockpit of uh, SR22. So we are very comfortable. Uh, hey, Tipo Flight, welcome on, uh, welcome on board. Uh, I believe uh, Tuba is still streaming. Uh, he is only starting out, so check him out as well. Uh, great guy, streams uh, mostly airliners, but uh, really nice to see him uh, getting into the streaming and sharing uh, his own uh, knowledge and uh, and uh, passion. So. There we go. <laughs> Dave, uh, I know, right? And it's gonna be uh, only like uh, two days, because uh, in uh, 
in the end of the week it is it, it, expected to be quite crazy again. Hey Diva, here, here you go. Alright, uh, let's get back to... Okay, so for... So the notams. For Rogue Valley International at Met, uh, International at Medford. Oh my goodness. Um, nothing really interesting. Uh-huh. And for destination, instrument approach procedure, Arnav Zulu procedure not available. Okay, and we can't use RMP anyway, so this is not relevant. And what navigation is going to be complete? Wait a minute. Navigation. Uh, so you see the nav, nav GPS, including us, may not be available within uh, 31 vertical mile radius centered at very interesting. Guys, this is why you read in root notams. Not sure if it's gonna be any of a factor in the sim, but uh, but in reality, the GPS might uh, have uh, some outages in this area. And another great name and uh, great uh, friend, Dave Randon. Uh, welcome board Dave, uh, he is uh, streaming as well and uh, just recently uh, got his, uh, well, not recently already, uh, just basically building his proficiency, but he is now a private pilot uh, and uh, congrats uh, to him for, about, uh, for that. And check him out as well, does mostly general aviation, some amazing stuff. Uh, so we got a note um, about the GPS outages, which should be shouldn't uh, affect us, but still is pretty close. Okay, this is basically it. Alternate is going to be McNary Field at Salem, Oregon gonna be here a little bit to the north uh, almost impossible we're gonna be using it but hey better have it than all right so I guess that concludes the briefing let's get to the plane All right. First and thirst. Come on. Move the cap spin. Let's do the pre-flight inspection. Uh, actually, let's refuel the thing first. Here's the load manager. Uh, we got 24 gallons on board. We're gonna make it. Let's see. 
minimum required is 41 gallon I think we will load something like 50 because why not with 50 gallons let's see how much people we can take on board <laughs> Dave anytime my friend anytime always a pleasure um, so I weight 100 pounds if we can bring all three people on board today. Ah, we actually can. Here we go, even with uh, some luggage. This is what it means to have uh, Interesting. So, whoops. See if the briefing works. Yeah, it looks like four flight e is having some kind of Okay, here we go. Alright, no real changes. Awesome. Okay, nice. So we can actually take three people on board today and uh, with uh, all the same load. Nice. Alright, uh, livery generator. For those who missed the explanation, this is basically the ability to uh, apply to a livery your own uh, tail number. Uh, in uh, the basic settings, we can uh, select what is going to be used and what is going to be and what is uh, not going to be used. And uh, uh, um, if you get into the into the settings uh, deeply, uh, you can even replace the font. As you can see, I'm using the one that. Um, well, basically, I've um, uh, I've uh, recreated the, the Starfly's beautiful creation, uh, the livery she made for me, and uh, here you go. It's not complete, but it will. All right, let's get back to the to the checklist. Here we go. Part inspection required. Documents. Uh, everything is on board. Avionics power switch is off. 
Uh, guys, I hope the sound levels are fine. Uh, if they are not, please uh, uh, just say a word and I will balance. Have an power switch is off. Battery to master switch on. If D is lighting up. Voltmeter showing more than 25 volts. Awesome. Club position light E out as it should be. Turn on battery one master switch. Light position uh flat position light on. Avionics cooling fan. Yep, making noises. Lights. Turn this on. They're doing the blinky blinky thing. Lights off. No warning. Sadly, we can't really check because you really do really need to suck on. check the store warning system we would literally have to suck on this thing and we can't really in this plane so yeah uh, a suggestion for torque sim if you guys are watching it by any chance anyway store warning checked fuel quantity checked and this tank is well they both are Maps. Fifty percent detected. One hundred percent detected. Awesome. Oh, and then let's see it uh, on. And battery switches are off. Alternate static source. Uh, it's there. Normal. Circuit breakers. Everything is everything is in fire extinguisher. Green band. Charge and available. Mercy a grass hammer. They learned this thing is here. And it's present. I guess also can be used uh, as a self-defense weapon. Life hacks. Caps handle being removed. All right, let's get out. Left fuse. Door lock unlocked. Form one antenna on top. There it is, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, wing fuselage fairing. Here it is, and it's nice. Come to antenna. Present and safe. Package door closed and secure. This. Some bags here. Static button. Uh, no blocks here. Parachute cover secure. Headdowns removed. Stabilizers are perfectly fine. Elevator and top is fine. Rather trim tab uh, is pure. Hinges, bolts, and color 
cutter pins are fine. Okay, uh, going to right fuse. Going to right fuse. Here, static button. Fine. Bearings are fine. Doors unlocked already. Up and wrap strips uh, not installed. Let's see. There's whipping wing, by the way, the TPS system. Pretty much thing. Iron gap seal. Um, looks secure. Yes. And and everything, everything is fine. It is well, it's there. Not sure, what can happen to it? Lights are fine. You'll vent. You'll vent. It is obstructed. Fuel caps are secure. Fuel drains. Let's check the fuel. As is, sadly we can't drain it. That thing that we drained it is fine. We'll fire in. Nothing problematic here. Tires are fine. Uh, are they? Chokes and tender ramps removed. Cabin air, air vent. And abstract. Okay, notes. Right side. Hey Happy Puppy, welcome aboard. Uh, guys, check out Happy Puppy. Uh, quite, uh, mm, uh, quite an emerging uh, streamer. Streams most uh, streams uh, uh, all kinds of uh, aircraft, uh, mostly fast and uh, high flying things. Even if they have a spinny thing front, so check out Happy Puppy. Really cool guy, and also very much into music and uh, very knowledgeable about uh, Canadian and American music industry. So, and as well as uh, about aviation, uh, worked as a, a ramp agent, uh, years of experience. Will be returning to the job as a, as far as I know. So, definitely someone to check out, uh, someone from the industry. And it's a pleasure to have you, happy party. So vortex gen, fine, calling, pure, just by clear, I hope. Yep. Antennas, fine, escalator, yes it's uh, here and, yeah I guess it's here. Can't really drain, but we should. We should. Nose gear, propeller, and spinner. Tow, bo tow bar already removed and stored. Strut is fine condition. Will fire in fine. Tire is fine. Spinner is pure. Air inlet unobstructed. Alternator... Alternator is fine. Okay. Landing light clear and secure. Engine oil... Seven point nine quarts. Perfect. Calling uh, already checked, secure, 
turn off our door closed secure, vortex chain. Nice condition, exhaust pipe already checked. Will firing. Ah. Happy puppy. Fingers, uh, fingers crossed for you. Uh, yeah. So, will firing, security accumulation of debris. Fine. Car is fine, wasn't breaks, uh, no leaks, nothing. Looks and tie down ropes removed, fuel drains checked, cabin air vent. Cabin air vent. Fine, fuel cap. Secure. Hitting edge and stall strips. Everything else is fine. Lap is fine. Aileron B and secure. Aileron gap C secure. This and bolts. Perfect. Alright, guys, everyone can get in the plane. He is. Safe to be flown. Believe it or not. Okay, let's knock this. Road inspection completed. Weight and balance is checked within limits. Emergency equipment on board. Passengers so will brief in a minute. And seat belt shoulder. Seats, seat belts, and harnesses adjusted and secure. Okay. Engine is uh, cold. I haven't flown since yesterday. Let me plug in this. Uh, hold the brakes. Battery masters. HRS is aligning. Tropes we're gonna ignore for now. This is going to f as well. Right. Really? One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Close. Open quarter range. Alright, strobes. Alright. Clear. It's on and here she goes. Here she goes. Start 2000 RPM. 
this is all done. Okay, oil pressure 48 psi. Awesome. Alternators on. Prime the second one. Come on, pal. Alright, here we go. I knew you can do it. Avionics. Turn it on. From those guys. As you can see, I removed the transponder from the second unit because uh, three transponders in one aircraft is a little bit crazy. Alright. Density altitude. 4000. Holy shit. Alright, people, yeah. Uh, taking off is gonna be not easy, but definitely do. Alright, uh, passengers, um, uh, here's the uh, caps, uh, the uh, here's the caps, the parachute system. If I pass out, uh, pull, uh, pull, the, uh, pull this thing. Uh, okay, if nothing crazy happens, don't touch anything and uh, keep your seat belts fastened. If uh, if uh, I pass out or something happens to me, pull mi pull the mixture and uh, pull the and pull this uh, red thing. It's pretty hard to pull, but you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, but don't do this if this shows uh, less than um, uh, uh, less than uh, two thousand. Portland Tower. That's uh, is a rule of thumb. Holding short to eight lands. Also, um, Park Ray 47, Portland Tower, runway 10 left. Correction, runway 28 to left. 28 left, clear for takeoff. Mercy exits, uh, literally everything you see. Uh, if you need to break one of those, uh, here's the, the grass hammer. Useful for other purposes. Okay, useful for other purposes. Fire extinguisher is here, and the one uh, is in the back. Uh, smoking. Uh, when we're going to be using the oxygen, smoking is prohibited. Otherwise, uh, the FAA is not present on this plane. Okay, uh, above 12,000 I will do turn on the oxygen system, put on those uh, weird looking mask things and uh, it will allow you to breathe. And uh, seat belts, just keep them fast. All the time. No exception. Alright, confirmed. Useful fuel, uh, 51 gallons, confirmed. Engine parameters are fine. The checklist, external board is connected already. Everything is done. Alright. That being said, let's, uh... Uh, in the mixture a little bit. RPM. To kind of help the engine a little bit. Especially since uh, we are at a little bit crazy density altitude. Here we go. 
Gotcha is lead. All right. Well, grade 47, contact departure. Contact departure. Good day. Well, grade 47. Uh, let's pick up the uh, let's pick up the ages. Portland departure. Good evening, Walker. Eight forty-seven, two thousand seven. Two nine or zero at one one. Gust one nine or visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature three seven. Dew point one one. Altimeter two nine or seven three. Arriving and departing runway three two. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Yankee. Rogue Valley International Airport, HS Information, Yankee. 2353 Zulu. Wind 290 at 11, gust 19. Visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 37. Dew point 11. Altimeter 2973. Arriving and depart. Okay, here's Medford Ground. On. Here's three, four, two, six, two. Okay. Oh, drops. Run those ones. Not be an asshole. And let's check the flight controls while we are here. For ground, good evening, Cirrus uh, 34262, uh, IFR to Eugene. Medford Ground, Sirius uh, 34262, will you check? Uh, Medford Ground, Sirius 262, IFR to Eugene. Walker 847, climb and maintain final level 220, Cadex Edelson at 126.6. Climb and maintain flight level 220, contact Seattle 126.6, Walker 847. Number 34262, Medford Ground Crew to Eugene Airport, Jackson 1 departure to the Rogue Valley VOR, then it's filed. Climb and maintain 14,000. Uh, cascade departure frequency 124.3, squawk 4240. Uh, say again, uh, frequency and uh, uh, squawk for series uh, 262. Series 262 departure frequency is 124.3, squawk 4240. Uh, clear to Eugene Airport, uh, uh, Jackson 1 uh, departure, uh, then uh, Rogue Valley VR then uh, as filed. Uh, departure qu uh, climb, and uh, climb and maintain 14,000, departure frequency 124.3, squawk 4240. 
From runway 32, position one option, load departure, headway point actually not at way, actually load airway 23 and going all the way to Here it is. Load. And from Eugene it's gonna be... Hey Eugene. Here we go. Transponder. Engaged and open the stuff here. Punch in the plan here as well. Procedure, Archer, Jackson 1, runway 32, transition. Valley Airway to twenty three Tower Walker three seven nine Gene fifteen miles view. northwest northern land full stop with information Zulu and Eugene. All right, awesome. Let's open uh, the off page here. Where we have the VNAV, by the Walker way. 379 North Main Tower, break straight into runway 22, good land. Straight in runway 22, good land. And let's talk about the flight itself. So, um, we are at. Uh, okay, uh, weather and. Uh, Uh, weather and winds. Uh, the weather is a uh, perfectly v perfect VFR, and uh, the winds are at 11 knots, gusting to 19. Got to be a little bit cautious about that. Uh, we got pretty high density altitude, so regardless of uh, what happens, we're going to be using the full length of the of the runway. 32 is going to be more than enough. Let's see. Um, uh, 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 rotation is going to be at speed of uh, 75. Uh, before 75, we would be just about in the, the takeoff. Uh, we will have more than enough runway for the top uh, in any case. Uh, case of engine failure uh, below 400, uh, 100 above, and by the way, at Yankee, 973. Uh, in case of engine failure below 3000, uh, sorry, 1000 and... Uh, Walk grade 47 to the Soviet Olympia 2 arrival, the Boeing altimeter 2 We will be trying to land somewhere just ahead of us. 
Perfectionals Ah, my goodness We will find something, I guess um, Otherwise, well, may maybe we'll try to Somewhere near this uh, One of the streets or This railway Near the railway uh, At or above uh, 400 feet So uh, 1700 We will be Executing a runway turn back Should be perfectly doable Flaps immediately up And uh, Yeah Test glide is 88 knots and uh, 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 yeah, best glide is 88 knots. And we will try to get some but uh, yeah, should be doable. <laughs> after that after that uh, a simple return to the airport be perfectly feasible runway is uh, runway condition is already discussed it's uh, dry and uh, clean uh, density altitude is high so we'll be using the whole runway uh, but uh, shouldn't be anything crazy departure Jackson 1 um, so standard for the minimum climb of uh, 430 per nautical mile to 4700 for uh, sorry uh, the runway 3200 with a minimum climb of uh, 300 uh, feet per nautical mile to 6080. Let's see what does it mean. We'll open the sporties. Reflight. Quiet rate of climb. Ground speed. Uh, ground speed for climb is going to be yeah, one ten. And minimum climb. What was it? Three hundred. That gives us uh, five hundred and fifty feet per minute. Perfectly doable. Nothing to really worry about. Uh, so, uh, terrain and uh, uh, okay, taxi plan is uh, going to be pretty simple, most likely via Alpha 32. Position altitude, we won't be reaching that. And uh, terrain considerations are holy shit. We will be definitely using the exhaust system here. Yeah. Because uh, there is a lot of terrain, especially ahead of us. Uh, for that, we will be doing this uh, little bit annoying climb. And let's talk about the, st about the seat itself. Climbing on the heading of 323. Three. I believe this is the runway heading. Yep, 323. 323. 328000, then climb right turn heading. Oh, sorry. I'm on the heading uh, 323 to intercept uh, Oscar Echo Delta Vortac Radio 153 Echo to Oscar Echo Delta Vortac. Then continue climbing hold to Oscar Echo Delta Vortac, holding pattern to pause at or above MEA MCA for the duration of flight before proceeding, of course. So well, that is going to be 7000. 7000. Uh, we already got the minimum, uh, sorry, we already got our altitude initial of 14. Uh, 
Let's uh, park the VSI for 600 feet per minute, just in case, uh, just so we know the reference. Fly is going to be at uh, 110 knots. Here we go. North Bend Tower Walker 379 is clear. The runway on taxiway Alpha 3. Went to taxi to and it's going to be a parallel line. entry of the yeah. Walker Tree 79 Alpha and Bravo to the ramp. You can see the frequency. It's going to be the parallel entry of the holding pattern, kind of turns, I believe. Kind of turns and bound radial 153. So let's plug this. Okay. One one three point four. Here we go. And H two TDI. Our course is going to be one five three. First sensing. Let's see. There's bearing. Do we bearing? Solve light sensing approach. Uh, Bonanza 1467 Delta Blue request. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Four six seven Delta Fly City that. approach. I would assume you, ha you would have a request for this. You wouldn't be calling me. Go ahead, sir. Sorry about that. Uh, Bonanza one four six seven. Like to uh, advance land at Salt Lake City. Uh, we are thirty five hundred uh, sixty miles okay. southeast with information, Charlie. November six seven Us. Delta Squawk five seven two zero. Maintain VFR. Five seven two zero. We'll maintain VFR one four six seven Delta. And very in. Okay. All right, cool. I believe this is all. Well, grade forty seven, kind of scale approach one two five point six. I believe this is all. One two five point six. Let's keep this on scratch uh, checklist. Pops are going up. Radio Savionic set. Cabin heat defrost set. Fuel selector. Seattle approach Walker 847 level 13,000 on the. Uh, All right, let's begin taxi. Olympia one. Walker 847 Seattle approach turn left in three four five to center maintain seven thousand. Expect the visual approach runway one four right. Turn to a heading of 345 down to 7000, and we'd like the uh, ILS uh, into runway 14 right, Walker 847. Okay, clear, clear. Roger. Be a bit less of a serious pilot as before last time. Dang. Jurors are crazy. Very 
already blinding everyone with the many lights. Taxi on the driveway. Oh well. Can't take that. Those things are pretty. I am pretty. Yeah, I can't taxi there. November six of it out there. Better contact seven miles. It's southeast a of the city airport. The altimeter two hundred ninety five cleared into the Bravo. Uh, and maintain VFR at 6,500 or below for now. Flighting 330. Uh, Temple to 95, three battalion at or oh, below 6,500 VFR and uh, 330, 6,000. Alright. 6 of it up to connect the tower now, 118.3. One, one, Please fucking break. Over to tower, 118.3. One, Thank you. Checked. All right, let's talk to them. Delta City Tower, Bonanza One Four Six Seven, Delta uh, inbound um, at uh, six two hundred and we're six miles out. One Four Six Seven Delta Salt Lake Tower, uh, runway one seven on the left, down to the land. Uh, runway one seven, uh, and we'll make left downwind to the land uh, six seven Delta. Uh, Metro Ground, series uh, 34262 with uh, Yankee, uh, short of Bravo, ready to taxi. Walker 847, maintain 3000. 3000, Walker 847. 3423, Metro Ground, runway 34, taxi via Alpha. Uh, confirm it was uh, runway 32, taxi via Alpha series uh, 262. 262, affirmative. I'm a sick runway 32, taxi via Alpha. Uh, 32, taxi via Alpha series 262. Right, done. <laughs> Minus. I mean. Only the best for the agency. Yeah, it's uh something to make you lazy, I guess. for us. This thing is turbo normalized, which is turbocharged, but uh, but don't tell the FAA. Um, so since this thing is turbo normalized, uh, we will be using a uh, full mixture for departure. The plane would be perfectly fine with it. I like how it has an, a fuel economy, a, a 
economic gauge. Nautical miles per gallon. Really shows what kind of uh, target audience uh, zero, uh, zeros are. And okay, here's the run-up pad. Why? Shoulder harnesses checked. ACE set. Fuel quantity. A fuel quantity. Already at fullest tank. Fuel pump. That boost. Mixture. Maps percent check transponder that autopilot okay working flight director off Oops. Hey Kini, welcome board. We got everyone here today. Take off. And let's Middle, I'll uh, check. Uh, 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 every kilo and one of the ground today. Uh, parking by kilo and we'll launch ground. Thanks so much. Walk 847, clear direct Isagi. Clear direct Isagi. Walker 847. and let's see. And arm. Um, F. Walk rate 47 cross, I saw jet or above 2200 cleared straight in, ILS runway 1 to 4 right approach. Let's cross Ozzy at or above 2200 cleared straight in, ILS 214 right approach. Walk rate 47. And Just flight director, just so we know how things are. Radio GPS, everything is set up. Cabin first, the first done. Power 1700. Alternator. Both alternators are working. Meter heat. On, working, location lights, on, strobes off, and theaters, tested, voltage is perfectly fine, heat to heat, not required, navigation set, max, Find difference less than 75. Engine parameters are fine. RPM pulling back. Flight instruments, the shisai altimeters checked and set. Flight controls 
Uh, already checked actually. What about it disconnected? Alright. Uh, let me verify real quickly. Got here. Star, here's one, two, four, three. Here's the question. Okay, let's roll. Shuttle Boston with tail and ha. <laughs> Acha. All right. It's here. Let's roll. Walker 847 connect, Boeing Tower, good day. Contact the tower, good day, Walker 847. All right, uh, heading 232, then intercept. Boeing Tower, uh, Walker 847 on the ILS, cross one four valley, right, crossing and climbing and dodging. Mount. Walker 847, Boeing Tower, runway one four right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway one four right, Walker 847. Okay. Uh, not for towers, series uh, 34262, short of uh, 32, ready to go. Series 34262, Medford Tower, runway 32, cleared for takeoff. Uh, clear for takeoff, uh, 32262. I, I think even better would be something Approaching like... Approaching runway 32. Uh, Off to get departure, series 262. See ya. All right. Uh, cascade departure, series uh, 34262, 2400, climbing uh, 14000. Series 34262, cascade departure, radar contact. And then we will be 
intercepting. Rena Clancy, good evening. Walker 169, IFR2, Las Vegas. Walker 169, Randall Class, good evening, Cleveland, Las Vegas, Airport Zephyr, Stitch, oh. Zephyr 6, departure, at key transition, that is filed, climb via the SID, departure frequency 119.2, and squawk 1712. Okay. It's clear to the here, Reed Air National Airport, Zephyr 6, departure, pass key transition, as filed, climb via the SID, departure 119.2, squawk 1712, Walker 169. Harry Reed, read back correct. I don't like it either. Hi, Martin. Hello. Oh, my goodness. That was cute. Alright, so at 7,000, we will be finally able to. Tower, Walker 847, off of 14 uh, at uh, A9, taxi to the ramp. Walker 847, taxi, parking via Alpha, man, that's Parking via Alpha, stay with you, Walker 847. Bound 153. Okay. Station passage. Now we need to do 153 and bound. Sensing thousand one minute timer, one minute outbound. That actually allows us to proceed. That actually allows us to proceed. Right then, uh, switch into GPS. And here we go. 7000. What about? Yeah, it was a little, a little bit more boring than I expected, but hey. Thanks for the performance. Off. Outside temperature is 25, so I think we can just we can turn off air conditioning. Let's reduce it. Off. And 
let's do this. Abilities. Messages. Links. Enter. Periodic. First sim plane with a full uh, oxygen system. This need it. Uh, awesome. One seven thousand. One three thousand. Thousand to go. Feet per minute. Of course, Muse. Turbocharged. Who doesn't like a good tur uh, a good turbine, even if it's not the main uh, thing? All right, switch into vertical. Destination Adis is one two five point two two five. You might notice that uh, as I pull back the power, the FADEC uh, switches the engine to low RPM. For 75 percent, its uh, setting is 2500. Here we go. And it also would allow us to clean assist.
Today we are looking at best economy. Uh, Muse, I would say that depends on uh, what you are planning to do. That thing is definitely and absolutely fun. But also a little bit fragmented. Uh, I would say that uh, EA62 is a safer deal in almost every respect. Alright. Beautiful northern... Beautiful Oregon laws. But to prefer a little bit uh of the same for my liking. Oh. Alright, here we go. And best economy would be Three four two six two contact Seattle Center one two one point four. Uh, two one point four Seattle Center zero two six two. Seattle Center zero uh, three four two six two uh, one four thousand. Zero three four two six two Seattle Center the Eugene altimeter two hundred eight zero. Uh, 2980, Walker 616, Yakima Tower, need your type of aircraft. Walker 616, make straight in runway 27, report 3 mile final. Yeah. I actually managed it, managed it to, managed once uh, to Tell me, how do I do best economy? But it doesn't really want. Alright, let's keep it like this. Okay. Five. Yeah, that's a fast plane. That's a damn fast plane. Alright, so we're gonna be shooting ILS for only 1-6. One, 1-6, six. One, six, right in this case. Uh, remind me what the 8 is. 8 is... is uh, 1 to 5, point two to 5. This information whiskey. Zero zero five four Zulu. Wind two two zero at two zero. Gust two five. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at one thousand five hundred. Few clouds at six thousand five hundred. One five thousand scattered. Temperature two four. 
Dew point one four. Altimeter two nine or eight zero. Arriving and departing runways one six left, one six right. Visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches parallel runways in use. Read backhaul runway Open assignment and hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact you have information with key. Gmarlon Sweet Field, eight of information whiskey, zero zero five four Zulu, wind two two zero at two zero, gust two five, visibility one zero, few clouds at one thousand five hundred, few clouds at six thousand five hundred, one five thousand scattered, temperature two four, dew point one four, altimeter two nine or eight zero, arriving and departing runways one six left. One six right. Visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches parallel runways in use. Read backhaul runway assignment and hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information with key. Okay. So the weather is. Gene Mocklon Sweet Field. Huh? A to information with key. Zero zero five four Zulu. Four four forty six capital ground and way one seven left taxi via Delta. Set the uh. Altimeter. Checking 4065 Romeo, it's uh, radar contact, oh. one four miles northeast of Hangtown. You're cleared to South Hi, boss man, 81855, welcome Hangtown, BOR, maintain one zero thousand. And let me know what your approach question to uh, South Lake Tahoe is. And it doesn't look okay, bad. Heading, Definitely doesn't heading, look bad. BOR. Although, frankly, uh, we'll I'm uh, not much of a mountain person. We'd like to go in the uh, RNAV 1A there. Either uh, vectors to final or at hatchery. I want us to perform no, flight hands. Hatchery. I don't have vectors to final available. Stand by just a second for that vector. Okay, Walker 616, runway 27, cut a land. Right, nice and warm here. Uh, checklist done. Um, flaps verify up, mixture leaned, parameters checked, fuel pump ready off, cruise pump off, cruise power set as required. Awesome! Four zero six five. Romeo. Uh, boss man, we are going from uh, uh, turn right direct hatchery and uh, climbing from, uh, 11,200. From Medford to Eugene in Oregon. Right turn hatchery and 11,200. Four zero six five Romeo. You can see beautiful um, Pacific uh, Northwest views here. This is a serious. SR-22 TN, which stands for Turbo Normalized, made by some people at Roxy. Right, let's open the approach plate. And this is what we're gonna be playing. And inbound. Edge above Walker 616, text parking via Alpha in this frequency. Marked uh, below 6. Okay, let's open the plan. What procedure? Approach. ILS 16 right. Walker 169, radar ground, runway 85. Eugene. Taxi via Alpha Lima, cross runway 16 right and runway 16 left at Lima. Load this, yep. That is for one turn only. And we already have ILS on the east end. Between 6, back to between 6 and 3. Eugene, we would need to. Cross at six nine. Awesome. Sixty nine. Nice.
Uh, let's punch here as well. Board approach. Pilots uh, once right from Gene. Approach, yep. Three. Up. Enough. Time to double descent. Five minutes. Rain is max. Five Romeo cross hatchery at or above one one thousand two hundred clear to Arn Avenue one eight approach. Cross hatchery at one one thousand two hundred cleared for the Arn Ave one eight approach. Alright, let's open the airport information. Number three four two six two contact cascade approach one one nine point six. Uh, cascade one one nine point six. Uh, uh series two six two. Okay, approach, uh, good evening, Cirrus uh, 34262, uh, we are at 14,000, we got information whiskey at Eugene, and we would like uh, ILS uh, from uh, Eugene VOR for runway 16, right? Uh, 34262, Cascade approach, Eugene, altimeter 10 or 8 to 0. And uh, across the Eugene VOR, at or above 5,000, clear to ILS from a 16 right approach. Report procedure, turn inbound. Across uh, Eugene VOR, at or above 5, uh, will report procedure, turn inbound. So it's 260. And we are cleared for a pro 16 uh, right to ILS. Uh, so it's 260. Capital Tower, Walker 446, holding short, 17 left, ready to go. Walker 446, Capital Tower, All right. Um, left, take off. Um, let's Clear brief take the off, approach left, Walker, itself. 446. So we are... Solex City, Clones of E, Bonanza 1467, Delta, I just got my IFR to Friedman Memorial. Okay. Put it here. Uh, the localizer frequency is 110.1. Inbound course is Okay, this is the numbers for the This is the numbers for the procedure itself. It is one to one point two five already picked up. Cascade approach one one nine point six. I believe we already have it tuned. Tower is one one eight. One four of one six hours, one one eight point nine. Here's Eugene Tower. Ground control one to one point seven. Like we have a yeah, it looks like we have a marker here actually. Marker. Case of missed approach. Uh, climb to 1000, then climb right turn to 5000, and heading 230, and on vortex, radial to 10. Gene vortex, radial to 10. Vertical, vertical track. Thank you. 
clear for takeoff runway two, fight Flocker 169. Walker 446, contact at NorCal departure. Going to departure, Walker 446. Vertical speed, one, four. All right, cross at 5,000 above. Then approach complete for approach. Oh, it's good. It's okay. NorCal departure, Up Walker 446. 2,400 for 9,000. Alrighty. Walker 446, NARCOT departure radar contact, climb and maintain, one, one, play two, level three, 1 under zero. Climb and maintain, fly level 190, Walker 446. 2.9, here we go. Mode. Nav mode. It's back. Altitude. 5,000 and nice All right Walker 169 contact Narcal departure The departure Walker 169 1,000 in it Right then Mountain Salt Lake City for now, number 1467 Delta, GA parking right for taxi with information Delta 1467 Delta, Salt Lake ground, runway uh, 17 taxi via Kilo Runway 17, okay. taxi via Kilo, 1467 Delta no, okay, the departure walker 169, 6,500, uh, climbing the, uh, Listen the... Listen towards the VR. Walker 169, NorCal departure radar contact, climbing team for level 190. Up yeah. to level 190, walker 169. Yeah, here's Eugene. Alright, awesome. Get altitude armed, everything set. Hey, uh, Cypher Hornet 13. Oh, uh, you're from Chiefs. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, yeah, um, so as you might know, my name is Diana. I, uh, stream mostly flight simulation, uh, uh, on the civilian side, though. Uh, and today we are checking out, uh, Cirrus, uh, 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 checking out, uh, Cirrus, uh, uh, to uh, SR-22 They were normalized by uh, uh, awesome people from uh, That's affirmative. Uh, by awesome people of uh, Turk's team now You appear to be stopped at 5,000 Okay Yeah, I think my autopilot's uh, hung We're gonna switch off and manually start our climb Walker 446 Okay, no I mean, we're correct in this end, but Indeed. Let's keep on it hunting. Right now we are doing a, an ILS approach into Eugene. Oh. My pad is up a little bit. So we are doing a visual approach to Eugene. Okay, uh, we are coming up on ILS approach uh, to Eugene in uh, Oregon as well. Yeah, looks like we 
we are right on the net. We have 10,000, so we can... The oxygen system, guys, everyone can put off the masks. Quite warm in the cockpit. Switch to Gene View. Alright, so missed approach would be climb to 1000, then climb right on to 5000, heading to 30, and on uh, Eugene View to 10 to. Oh, Eugene uh, 14 DME and hold. Continue climb and hold 5000. Walker 169, contact Oakland Center 132.2. 132.2, Walker 169. Uh, let's see. Okay, we are already inbound to Gene, which means we can activate approach direct to Gene. Walker 169, Oakland Center, come maintain for level 230. Let's reset the heading back. Uh, here's Magda, and here's the missed approach procedure. We already have it. We will be using uh, the overlaid. Uh, well, we will be using uh, the overlaid approach for the guidance, but we also have uh, just to get the the needle. Also, let's turn on the any lights. Not. And let's do the descent checklist. Altimeter already set. Cabin heat for set. Landing lights on. Fuel system. Is already checked and switch to the full tank. Mixture full. Brake pressure. Makes a fine. And parking brake. Alright, Eugene should be crossed at 5 or Buff and then uh, Magda crossed between 6 and 3. As soon as we cross Eugene, we can decide continue to descend to 5,000. Uh, sorry, 3,000. Walker 169, contact Oakland Center 127.45. Walker 446, contact Oakland Center 127.45. Pretty amazing, right on the numbers. That this thing can't do any. Uh, we missed enough, that frequency, but... Walker 446. Walker 169, Oakland Center, coming in for level 330. Walker 446, contact Oakland Center 127.45. Oakland Center 127.45, Walker 446. Oh. Okay, Magda, Magda. There we go. Here's the approach. Salt Lake City Tab, and I'm the 1467 Delta, holding short of runway 17. 6500, Magda, let's continue all the way to. Bonanza 1467 Delta, Salt Lake Tower, turn right heading 295, runway 17, clear for takeoff. Heading 295, clear for takeoff, 17. Okay, getting a little bit of lag, I guess. Off loading up. Everything looks perfect. By the way, Eugene Airport. Gene Airport, everyone. Walker 446, Oakland Center, climbing team for level 390. Continuing down to Magda. And then we will switch to. Okay, let's see. 
Actually, already Magda should be tracked on... Uh, And here we go. We're almost perfectly on the numbers. Uh, ha ha. Less one one zero point ten. What? No. No, do you mean seriously? This thing doesn't have a DME. Really? Okay then. That is disappointing. Level disappointing. Alright, that's correct. Uh, okay, so here, as soon as we are. Ah, looks like we already crossed Magda. Uh, continue to send to. And five hundred descent to two thousand five hundred. On two thousand five hundred outbound zero two nine zero. Fly this for here's two thousand five hundred. Romeo, no traffic is virtual you in Lake Tahoe. Report drive for cancellation of Mr. Broach in the air on this frequency or on the ground within five minutes after landing on 122.2. Change to advisory frequency is approved. Zero. Timer has expired. Thank you. And I'm bound to an
Okay. Checklist. Full landing. Sit was shoulder harness is secure. Fuel pump. Boost. Mixture full. Oops. What is that? Okay. Coming up on ILS, got the readings, all of them. And let's switch to the full tank. The way. Okay, this is set. Arm approach. What about disconnected? Cops. Then. Four one four six seven Delta. Thanks, Alex Carter. Oh, that's not your one four six seven. Thank you. Uh, Cascade Approach, uh, uh, Cirrus uh, 262, sorry, forgot to report. Uh, we are uh, inbound on the procedure turn. That's fine, I just didn't want to uh, forget about you uh, myself. One, uh, three, four, two, six, two, Kanaki Eugene Tower, one, eight, point nine. Off to Eugene Tower, uh, uh, off to Eugene Tower, Cirrus 262. <laughs> yeah, I already have this tuned, you. Oh my goodness. So, like, Cirrus Patch, uh, bounce the 1467, 9000. Why do I need to report the frequency if I already know it and already have it tuned? It's 1467 Delta, Salt Lake Departure Radar Contact. So, we are now in the turn and we are hand flying, so. And Bonanza 67 Delta, turn right heading 0x, correction, okay. Bonanza 67 Delta, clear to Ogden in VOR and join Victor 101. Yeah. Check to Ogden and VOR and join Victor 101, 1667 Delta. Agent Tower, Cirrus uh, 34262, uh, we are on uh, ILS established uh, 36, right? Uh, 34262, Eugene Tower, uh, certify 16 right, so when you're on, I don't know, 16 right, clear to land. 16 uh, right, clear to land, series 262. Yeah. Number 1467 at Delta. Uh, did you happen to see what okay, the this is a bit MEA is uh, for Victor 101 once you get just even a little bit northwest of Ogden? He's trying to Nice. Uh, stand by. My goodness, this thing is much more fun than I... Okay, when you actually know how to use this thing, it's so uh, yeah, much fun. Yeah, we got two, uh, one, two thousand. Uh, six, seven, so, one, six, seven, I maintain one, two thousand. Alright, ma maintaining two, five. Thousand, the approach, uh, let's, uh, cross check the... Let's, uh... Head into... Th Lacta should be crossed at 2000. Vertical track. Thank you. There it Second to take a sip of coffee. Uh, 
Alright. Glide slow intercepted. Check the flight director. Then, then, but we will try to by the chip. Uh, so, Mr. Proch procedure switch to GPS. <laughs> Quite a serious crosswind, fast gusting. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna be keeping this up. We're gonna be keeping this. Speed. Okay, let's get back. Let's look. Okay. Two mile final runway one six right. Or skinny is coming in with the predictions. <laughs> to clarify we don't do this, it just it's just skinny does that. <laughs> what it comes shaky. Alright. It really doesn't have the Frankly, this thing, this thing is kind of awful, and it kind of works. Five hundred. Yep. Five hundred. Wow. Pushing it to the All right. Now let's just go. Right. Open center, Cherokee 4065. Um, Romeo on the ground. Cancel my car. Cherokee 4065. Romeo, I have our cancellation received. Have a good day. Thanks for your help. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit long, but... Uh, 
Okay. The idea was to basically basically keep it keep it kind of controlled at all time in the wind. So yeah, I've intentionally basically landed long. Because I wanted to keep some speed. And it worked out. It was actually pretty good. Alright, let's find the taxiway. Okay, we are coming up on Alpha 5. From the looks of it. Mm hmm. Not particularly as I expect. Uh huh. Oh well. Start to thousand. Mark three four two sixty tax parking via Alpha Ministry. Good day. Uh, parking via Alpha. This frequency is zero two six two. All right, perfect. Uh, destination Atlantic. Checklist uh, done. Go around. Never happened. After the checklist, power lever. Check. Fuel pump. Off. Ups. Up. Transponder. Altitude. Lights. Jobs off. Alright. Walker 169, contact Let's Los Angeles see. Center, 133.2, we'll see you. Atlantic. Alpha. Nice. Okay. Yes, thanks. Thanks for that. Terminal, the tower, and let's roll to Atlantic. And you know what, people? I I think it was very enjoyable. And uh, looks like the shuffle is helping me. Here's our ultrasound. Let's roll to yeah. Atlantic entrance. Best of view. Turned off. Actually, this thing is a little bit complicated because of uh, because it doesn't have uh, any nozzle steering. Only way to steer is differential braking. All right, welcome to Atlantic, everyone. Atlantic, Eugene. Looks like this tower. Is our parking. Santa, correction, Walker 446, contact Los Angeles Center 133.2. Or 
Opa. Opa, ela. Lights off. Shut down. Fuel pump is uh, off. Proto. Just to idle. Turn on the noise cancellation. Check the magnetic grounding. Okay, here's the drop. Drop. Awesome. Uh, cut. Max off. Both switches going to off. LT off. And we'll set those things. Alright, everyone, welcome to Eugene. I very much enjoyed that and uh, I very much enjoyed the plane, believe it or not. Uh, let's see what was the landing like. In flight. Minus 39 feet per minute. Kenny, I guess you would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not sure how it is uh, compared to central line. Well, we'll see it the next time on the on the satellite mode when they implement it, because they promised to. And this is a really nice procedure to turn and inbound for flight and in the bound course. So I'm very happy with that. Alright people, I guess this is gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you're here for the first time uh, and you liked what you saw, uh, my name is Diana and I stream uh, flight simulation. Try to be as realistic and uh, proficient as, as possible. Passengers, that's jokes and covers. And see who we can raid. See who is streaming right now. Oh my goodness, a lot of people are streaming. Let's go. Let's go to Dave Random. We haven't uh, we haven't traded Dave Rendon much uh, uh, lately, so let's say hi to Dave Rendon, and he's enjoying some reality XP goodness as well. Second of Bonanza. So guys, Dave Rendon, a great friend, uh, 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 recently and uh, recently become uh, certified uh, uh, private pilot, uh, former. A uh, law enforcement officer, uh, an absolutely amazing guy. Let's go. Say hi to him. Oh yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a really good flight. Did um, Bleach Park come in? I thought he said he was coming around. 